Hey everyone, today I am really excited to show you how to make tropical banana bread. Now you can use two different options. If you are local and you have access to me at one of my markets, you can get the banana bread mix and that's what you start with. If you're not, um, the recipe is still found in my book, Take a Seat. There's recipes at the end of every chapter and one of them is my banana bread. So you would just use this recipe for the banana bread in here and then add the pineapple and the coconut that we're gonna add extra today. So whichever way that you decide works for you, there you go. We're gonna just start, I'm gonna use the banana bread mix. So I took one from the market stash. <laughs> So you can see what it's going to look like when you open your banana bread mix. The chopped walnuts are packaged separately, so they're in their own little bag. Um, that is be so that if you don't want to add uh, nuts, you don't have to. When I was growing up, every time my mom made banana bread, um, we would do it without nuts because we actually didn't like the nuts in our banana bread growing up, but I like them now. So today I'm going to put the nuts in mine, but if you have a nut allergy, um, or you just don't like nuts in your banana bread, you can just do regular banana bread. And then the dry mix is in here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to dump your dry mix into your bowl. This is all the dry ingredients. It's the flour and the baking powder and sugar and all of that. So you're gonna dump that in there. And then you're going to add, and the, the rest of this is following along with the instructions. These instructions come with the banana bread mix, um, this part, and then the pineapple and the coconut milk, the coconut flakes that make it tropical are, are added, but I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. So. Your ingredients for the banana bread are two ripe bananas mashed. So I've already mashed mine with a potato masher. You can you can mash them with a fork or whatever, but you just do it really, really good until they are pretty much the consistency of baby food. So there is your bananas. And then one cup or 240 grams of your favorite non-dairy milk. Today I'm using almond milk, but you can use whichever milk that you choose. I love these one bowl recipes, they're awesome. <laughs> and then two eggs, or if you are vegan or allergic to eggs, you can try an egg substitute. If you have an egg substitute that you know works well um, with baked goods. I've tried applesauce and with the banana bread mix, it does not work, it's too dense and gooey. But I have not tried flaxseed eggs, um, which would be two tablespoons of flax, ground flax seed, and then one third a cup of water. If you mix that and let it gel, that would be equivalent to two eggs. I have not tried that yet, but you could you could try it. And if you do, report back to me. Um, that, that may work, because flax seed tends to work pretty good in baked goods. But um, just a warning, I, I, I haven't tried any other egg substitutes, but, um, I'm not saying they wouldn't work. If you have one that you know works well with baked goods, then go ahead and try it. Two tablespoons or 28 grams of grapeseed oil or whichever other cooking oil that you use. One tablespoon of vanilla. And then you're gonna go ahead and whisk that up until there aren't any lumps left. Okay, now here is where you're gonna add your nuts if you decide to add nuts. And then also where we're gonna make it tropical banana bread. And then for the tropical part, you're going to add an eight ounce can or 227 grams of crushed pineapple. 
I didn't have where I went and looked, there was only this large can of crushed pineapple. So it, but, but they do come in smaller eight ounce cans. So if you find the eight ounce can, then you just use that whole thing, open it up and dump it in. Since I got the 20 ounce can, I'm going to have to measure out the 227 grams. Well, a little extra in there, <laughs> but good enough. And then half a cup or 60 grams of shredded coconut. There we go. And then you will blend that with a spatula. Now you're gonna take your greased loaf pan so I've already sprayed it. I sprayed it with um, olive oil spray, but you can also just grease it with your dairy-free butter or however you like to grease your pan. And then you're going to pour this in and bake it for one hour or until a knife, a sharp knife inserted into the center comes out clean. The regular banana bread or banana nut bread is one hour. It might take a little bit longer with the tropical banana bread because of the added fruit. So you'll just have to watch that and then adjust accordingly. All right, and there you have it. I know that you're going to want to eat this immediately, but you need to let it cool in the pan for 30 minutes, and then you flip it out onto your cooling rack and let it cool completely because it's going to need to, it has to be able to cool completely for you to cut it well. If you cut it when it's still warm, it's gonna crumble. It's not gonna cut very well. So if you want good slices, now I know there are gonna be those of you who argue, it still tastes the same even if it's crumbly. So if you wanna do that, that's up to you. <laughs> but if you want good slices of banana bread, you're gonna have to wait till it cools completely. So you cool it in the pan for 20 to 30 minutes and then flip it up on the cooling rack and cool completely. Because um, if you if you try to turn it out of the pan while it's still warm, it won't turn out as well. So just let it cool for half an hour and then flip it out onto the cooling rack. I hope that y'all so enjoy the tropical banana bread recipe. If you liked this video, you're gonna love my Patreon baking membership. Um, I have new recipes every single week that are added. And then once you become a member, you also have access to all the other recipes that are already in there. So each week you get a printable PDF with the actual recipe printed and then the step-by-step -step video like today, except that in the Patreon videos, I will give you, um, when we're going through the recipes, it's from scratch. So I will give you the full list of ingredients. Whereas today I went ahead and just used my banana bread mix. So it was a little bit different um, than it would be in the Patreon videos. But I would love for you to join my baking class and you can check it out um, on the link that's attached here. And I hope to see you there. And I hope you enjoy this banana bread recipe.